Hey guys, Alex here from Workshop 12. Today we're going to walk you through the initial Brainiac setup and show you how to set up your tablet's power settings so the tablet can turn on and off with your vehicle. Let's not waste any more time and jump right in. All right, guys, so now that you got Brainiac installed and everything is ready to rock, uh, scroll down on the notification bar and click the little gear icon. The first thing you're going to want to do is head to display. Now, I personally love setting my dark mode settings to be turned on as scheduled from sunset to sunrise. This is awesome because during the day it will be light mode and at nighttime it will switch automatically into dark mode. If you guys have adaptive brightness turned on, make sure to turn it off because the faceplate will actually cover um, the sensors so adaptive brightness won't work and you're going to want to head to font size and style i personally like setting it quite large that way it will be nice and easy to use same thing with screen zoom i like to set it to about the middle there the next thing you're going to want to do is set your screen timeout to 15 seconds i will explain to you why we're setting it to 15 and one second now for those that have the Samsung S6 Lite, you're going to want to turn off taskbar. And if your navigation bar does not have the three buttons like that, then you're going to simply go to navigation and change it to whatever configuration you like. Um, the reason we're doing that is because the faceplate will cover a portion of the navigation bar, but if you increase your screen zoom and font size as well as removing the taskbar it will have zero effect uh, when navigating the tablet the next thing you're going to want to do is head to lock screen i personally like sw switching my lock screen type to none that way as soon as i turn on my car it will automatically boot up without requiring me to enter a password or swipe the next thing you're going to want to do is head over to apps, scroll down to find Brainiac. Now, this is the most important thing we're going to need to do is switch, uh, go to battery and make sure that Brainiac is unrestricted. By default, when downloading an app from the Google Play Store, it will automatically restrict or optimize the battery usage of that particular app. However, we do not want to optimize the Brainiac app because features such as tablet smart power, uh, brightness settings, and um, tablet smart media playback is not going to work. Um, the next thing you're gonna wanna do under that same screen is set your home screen to uh, default uh, Brainiac. Then you're gonna wanna actually go back into the settings and you're going to want to scroll down and you're going to want to make sure Brainiac appears on top. You're going to allow that. You're going to also change system settings. And you're going to allow that. The next thing you're going to want to do is go back to the to the main Samsung settings or your tablet settings. And then you're going to want to go to accessibility. Scroll down to find installed apps and turn on Brainiac screen navigation. Now, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is reboot uh, or restart your tablet. And you can simply do that by scrolling down if you have a Samsung uh, tablet and click the little power uh, icon there and then click restart. All right, guys, so now that you restarted your tablet, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is head over to the three dots um, to access the Brainiac settings and go to general settings. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that tablet smart media playback is turned on. Tablet smart media playback will pause your music when it detects that your tablet is no longer getting charged. This will save battery life as well as uh, prevent going through all of your data for those that have an LTE tablet. And then you wanna make sure that tablet smart power is turned on. Then you're going to want to go to brightness settings 
and you want to want to you're going to want to turn on tablet smart brightness tablet smart brightness has two very cool functions one you'll be able to set the sunrise uh whenever your sunrise uh wherever you're at uh you'll be able to adjust the brightness so if you want it to be very bright and then the sunset you'll set your time and then you can say all right i want the tablet to dim at this percentage at that time uh, that way it will adjust based on time of day but tablet smart brightness will also keep the display turned on when it detects that your tablet's being charged and when your tablet is no longer receiving charge it will automatically dim after and, and go into standby because we've set the screen timeout for 15 seconds i hope that this video helped you guys uh set up the initial brainiac settings if you guys have any questions or need any assistance feel free to reach out our team will be more than happy to help you guys stay tuned um on our channel to watch the brainiac walkthrough video where we're going to demonstrate how to set up global volume control uh what is brightness setting tablet smart power uh tablet smart media playback and much more mm -hmm.